peacocks in the Philippines? Is it really known for such? Well, many didn't think they had elephants and ivory sources, nor apes, yet it does. Many didn't know it leads the world in gold, yet it does. Not to mention pearl and the onyx stone, which we covered as well. Really, six for six so far. And now for the seventh resource proving the Philippines isn't just maybe Ophir, but indisputably so. See what you think. Welcome to 100 Clues. The Philippines is the ancient land of gold known as Ophir in the Bible and history. No, it's no fable, and this has already been proven in full in the God Culture's Solomon's Gold series. At the request of many viewers, we have pulled out 100 compelling clues, really proofs or evidences from this research, and which we will highlight briefs of the most compelling points. And yes, there are over 100. These videos are for those who have not had time to watch Solomon's Gold series or those who would like to review and easy to share to friends and family, especially skeptics, whom we welcome. This brief video cannot replace that 50 video series nor prove the way that it does, but this will be very effective nonetheless. So go there for full evidence, but now part 20 of our series 100 Clues, the Philippines is Ophir, one clue at a time. Right out of Wikipedia and sourced, Kabal et al. And those in Palawan can just walk outside and confirm this, of course. Endemic to the Philippines, the Palawan peacock pheasant is found in the humid forest of Palawan Island in the southern part of the Philippine archipelago. And here we go again. The peacock recorded in history. Let's see. In his journal, Pigafetta records actually twice the presence of the Palawan peacock. Here he describes a ship from the Philippines. What? Wait. The Philippines had ships? Oh yes, mega ships of that day even. We'll get there too, don't worry, coming soon. This ship was even ornamented with gold on the stern. Wow, gee, maybe that was a resource there, just guessing. And on the bow, a white and blue flag with a tuft of peacock feathers. Yes, peacocks. Later in Palawan, Pigafetta describes an elaborate dinner being prepared for the visitors with other birds and fowl and over 30 different kinds of fish. That's quite a dinner. Oh yeah, and there were, they were preparing peacock for dinner as well. Oh, and for those who do not like Wikipedia, Encyclopedia Britannica also documents that peacocks are among the fowl endemic native to the Philippines. Add to that, we have actually heard from many of our viewers who have actually seen peacocks being raised in the mountain areas of Luzon and also Visayas especially. Doesn't make these references and Maybe it's the Palawan peacock, who knows? But nevertheless, people are saying eyewitness accounts that they are there. So, dude, the Philippines is a 100% match here. So far, for the five resources of Ophir, and even the three from ancient Havila, the land of creation. Wow. Can Ethiopia say this? Mm, what about Yemen? Well, let's go ahead and look at this and settle it right now. Do they have all of these things? Oops, no they don't. Neither Ethiopia nor Yemen are east of the Red Sea, really. They're on it, but really not east of it. Neither are they a three-year trip from Ezion Gabir on the Red Sea, but more like three 
weeks, not three years. So far too close in proximity to fit Ophir. However, just the resource test alone of Ophir, they fail miserably. Ethiopia is not known for silver, and it does not have peacocks nor the red sandalwood. We will discuss that one later. Nor is it in the uttermost parts of the earth, as Messiah said it must be, as that is where Sheba, Ophir, and Tarshish are. Of course, worse, it's in Ham's territory. Now, there's nothing wrong with being in Ham's territory, but there's something very wrong for Ophir to live there because he is from Shem. See, that is gross negligence on the part of any scholar to overlook. In other words, we even gave you four strikes, Ethiopia, and you're out. Yemen is not known for ivory, peacocks, red sandalwood, and also is not in the uttermost parts of the earth. Four strikes, and they are out too. At least it is in Shem's territory, where Ishmael's lineage lived and settled, by the way, but never Ophir and his brothers. When you look at this this way, logically, these are ludicrous assertions, not scholarly claims. Now, that's just a brief. We will deal with these areas more, and India as well, though it does have these resources because it is in the Orient, just like the Philippines. So it's no surprise that you'll find many of these same things, though when we get to the entire resource list, they do fall off, but it does not fit anything else, and it would have to. It has to make a claim which is based on history. They have zero. They were never the land of gold. In fact, they weren't even their own land of gold, as their source of gold was an island in, well, the East Indies, not mainland India, which was Ophir, the Philippines. Not sure why these scholars don't even think this through. They don't even try. But no matter, we will. And we are well on our way in 20 videos now of 100 to proving this out thoroughly. As we keep saying, there is no debating. The Philippines is the land of gold in all of history. It is time this knowledge be restored. For those about to comment in ignorance, yep, we always get them. We dare you to watch Solomon's Gold series by the God Culture, the original channel to prove the Philippines is in fact Ophir and the Garden of Eden. Even here, we are breaking these into sound bites and clear points. But watch how all 100 clues tie together in history, the Bible, science, geography, language, etc. And this series will blow you away. Thank you for watching 100 Clues. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the bell. And like us on our new Facebook, The God Culture hyphen original. If you wish to skip ahead, go to The God Culture YouTube channel and watch their Solomon's Gold series in English or Tagalog. There will be a link on the next screen. We can know this truth and be confident this belongs to the Philippines, and no one can disprove it. Until next time.